Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. Have you ever seen a ghost? Have you ever heard voices from the grave? Well, you're about to, because today we're going to make a ghost phone. You can find the Ghost Phone Project in Make, Volume 16, and it's by Greg McLaurin. You can use any old analog phone for this project, but these black rotary phones I think work the best because they look old, like something dead. The first task at hand is to get to the handset, and specifically the earpiece, so we'll unscrew the cover for that, which will reveal the old speaker. Now, there's two connections that hold that in place, and the article calls for tossing out the earpiece, but... This old technology is cool, so I'm going to hang on to this little speaker for something down the road. Now, the idea is to replace the earpiece, so I've got an old set of headphones that had a broken connector on them. So I'm going to use those and take one and snip the wire about three inches from the speaker and then completely take apart the housing for this speaker, the plastic, and the foam earpiece, which will leave me just with a bare speaker and wire. We'll attach a couple of insulated spade lugs to the two wires on the speaker, and then that will go to the two wires that are left in the earpiece in the phone. Make those two connections, make sure no wires are touching, and tuck everything back into the handset. And then I used a little dab of hot glue on the outside of the speaker and attached that to the inside of the earpiece. And then the earpiece gets screwed back in place. Now it's time to get into this old rotary phone and reveal the amazing ancient technology inside. It's actually quite interesting the way this is built. Since the plug for those old headphones was broken, I made another one with about a 7-inch piece of cable. Now after using an ohm meter to ohm out the connections and make sure you have the right ones going to the earpiece, you're going to unscrew those connections and attach the headphone plug to that terminal block using some male spade lugs. Now it's time to load a creepy audio track to your MP3 player, preferably a long one. Plug the headphone jack into the MP3 player and conceal the player inside the old phone. So our ghost phone is finished and the way it works is the MP3 player is playing the long audio track that we put on there and once the cradle is released by picking up the handle of the phone, it'll send the audio signal into the speaker that we wired in the earpiece. And you should hear a creepy voice on the other end. In this case, <laughs> in this case, it's Judy Garland. Uh, you remember her little girl in Wizard of Oz? Well, she did a spoken word piece uh, years ago and talked about her life, and that is who uh, Greg McLaurin, the author of the article in Make Magazine, used in this project. So I decided to use the same one. I'll see if I, I'll see if you can hear what this sounds like. I'll hold it up to the mic on the camera. But basically, that's the ghost phone. Now, the only other changes you might want to make to this would be to put a switch in that turns the MP3 player on and then allows the MP3 player to automatically start playing. You could also put this in a loop so it's always playing. But that is the creepy ghost phone. So if you make one, post it as a video response to this video and let the world see your own ghost phone. I'm Kip K, and we'll see you next time with another weekend project. Okay, goodbye.